Hey, uh, why don't we steal some more content from someone else's channel so I can make a video about it? Pfft, look at that guy. Probably doesn't even play well. Let's watch his matches. See if he's any good. Sick burns. Starting off with the down four and the flips, which works online. <laughs> but, you know, I'm not criticizing that aspect. Nice restand. Most people don't know, though. Whenever you're actually in that restand right here, I think it's only plus seven on hit. Uh, or less. It might be plus four. But the point is, it's not guaranteed. You can actually get out of it. Well, that was a flolly. Sorry, I had to get something off the screen. You didn't see it, but you definitely heard it. I don't understand how this Kenjutsu player... Oh, wait. Because he's not playing Possessed. That's how... I was going to say, how is he getting stuck in the corner? You got a reversal. But no. Kenjutsu's... Um, I don't think he has a reversal. Because that, um, that... The EX version of that, obviously, was a launcher. An armored launcher, so they just took out the fucking armor, but anyways. I mean he's not doing bad, it's just that this Kinjutsu player is really bad. But okay, whatever. That's a wrap. Yeah, I know I know who um PlayStation Punk is and he is he is really good at this game. He is slightly better than me at all fighting games except Marvel. But that's pretty impressive. Oh, and this is a great matchup for Bo Raicho. Just straight up the best. Literally the best matchup in the game. Just Grandmaster can't do anything. And by the way, yes, I'm being facetious. This is a terrible matchup for Bo Raicho. Nice tick grab, though. Because the thing is, like, uh, Grandmaster the clone, right? Baraitro doesn't really have a way around the clone, except obviously Bartitsu, he can he can smack it, like uh, because his cane doesn't actually have hurt box, so that's nice. But besides that, this matchup sucks. <laughs> nice far dance here. I I love this game. MKX is still really good. I wish people didn't drop it. But that's a that's a totally different subject. Oh. <laughs> I'm a little bit, I'm actually a little bit triggered. Sorry. Uh, mm. How are you going to get an EX Ice Ball confirm? And just be like, nah. I'm not going to confirm. I don't know why he's going for stomp so much in the neutral. Just wait it out, really. I mean, choose your times, I guess. But you're really playing against, like, this Sporaicho player is not really playing the Sub-Zero matchup, I don't feel. Also, no anti-airs, really? You gotta stand four. Sporaicho's stand four is actually one of the best anti-airs in the game. It's kind of hard to combo off of normally, but it's a good anti -air. And you can combo off of it for a bar very easily if you want, but fuck it. Just do stand four and then a special move. That said, definitely doing well. And like I said, it is a hard matchup. This is the best, one of the better fatalities. Just jams you with fucking beer and then... Yeah, ha hey, take this match. See, I like to think that that's what's happening in Boraicho's gut all the time, but he's just so well-versed and, like, he has a strong gut that, you know, it, it comes out as farts and burps, but that's it. Another Grandmaster, hence the video title. Got the Bull Raicho zoning, which is weird that that exists. Oh, it's one of these guys. The kind of people who hit stance change because they were trying to use an interactable, but they didn't realize that that was a different button.
I mean, you got the open up, but did you have to throw him out of the corner? Could have, like, especially against this guy, you could have went again. You could have went for any mix up, and it would have worked. Yeah, this guy's gonna be reversal heavy, I believe. That's just how it is. Uh, you can actually punish that string, but it is kind of hard. A little bit of lag there. <laughs> I think he's just fucking with him. Yeah, this is a wrap. This is a wrap. I don't even, like, get out of here. Get, get that shit off my screen. Yeah, he just starts with down four. Overhead flips. It's a good starter online. I mean, it is punishable, though. No one punishes it online. Monkey flips might as well be safe on block online, though. Yeah, against these people. Good reversal. But, yeah. Not a whole lot you can do in that kind of situation. I mean, I guess uh, the game plan here from Boraicho is just the kind of standard... Uh, RTS. Is that gonna... Yeah. Nice. I couldn't get to confirm off of it. But that's, that shit's funny to me. Anyways. Standard shit from Boracho, right? You wanna... Mmm, that guy missed his reset. You wanna, like, rush that shit down. He doesn't really have zoning. That's great. Like, he has zoning, but... Meh. It's really more of counter zoning. You put him in these resets, and... It's pretty scary. Can be hard to deal with. This is also one of the better brutalities. That is, that is just. I'm making the pacha face right now. Hmm. He apparently finds grandmasters a lot more than I do. I. I never find Grandmasters. I find Scorpions all the time. Oh, uh, yeah. You gotta be careful of the clone. You just gotta assume it's out there whenever... You, yep, you can't just be forward advancing against Sub-Zero. Which is weird, because, you know, he's kind of a zoning character in a way. I feel like... Well, it depends. Grandmaster is, like, really defensive until he gets you to the corner, in which case, save 50-50, boys. Yeah, and also you don't really want to be jumping in that much in this game. Well, never mind. I was thinking of Injustice. No, you want to jump in a lot in this game. I take it back. I take it back. Yeah, see, if you're if you're gonna be trying to pressure him from that distance, you want to use the cane normals. You don't want to be jumping in or like wildlessly going forward, especially against Scrub Grandmasters. You kind of rely on that for neutral. I don't know if that Grand Master player understands. You gotta accomplish something with neutral. You can't just be in neutral. Like, th there's a goal when you're in neutral. That was literally one of the worst breakers of all time. Okay, I mean, stand four is a high. You can uppercut it. But that was just a scrub mash. I, do, I really disagree with that mix-up because this is... Hold on. This is a mix-up between the throw. This is only going to work on people that are actually really good at the game. I would never go for mix-ups like that unless you know the person knows about the throw and is actively trying to, you know, avoid it. That's a problem I have when I play Marvel is that I'll go too heavy on the layers. All, like right at the start and go for something that actually would be blocked by a scrub who didn't know any better you know what I mean like instead of going cross up I go from the front or something let's see how he does in this matchup I don't know if Commando Kano is particularly good against Boracho but I know he has some zoning so there's that 
Obviously, the parries are going to be nice. But not really so much against the mix. Now you're in the corner against Baraitra. Never mind. Now you're not. Now you're in the corner against Commando, so get fucked. Commando actually does have a pretty good uh, corner game because he can do the parry, you know, to bait weight uh, reversals. He can, like, fucking... He can do command grab, tick grabs, obviously. He doesn't really have an overhead, except for that, which is... A two frame overhead, guys. Not even joking. It's kind of insane. But it's super, super punishable on Buck. Um, I th I'm pretty sure he tried to do a reversal of the other command grab, but then he got auto corrected and fucked. That was actually a good break there, if, uh, or that was a decent break. I don't prefer doing that, because he was going to get reset. Good block, good block. He was going to get reset. So a lot of people opt to break right before the reset, so they don't have to deal with the mix-up. But I just prefer to deal with the mix-up, and then if I get mixed, break. That's my personal philosophy. I, I don't know. The thing is with that, Ender... The um, monkey flip sender. That's good for corner carry, but you're already in the corner, so you want to use uh, belly bounce. That yeah, or something like that does more damage than monkey flips. I'm pretty sure that uh, belly bounce does more damage. In general, uh, one criticism I would have of this Crimson Halo 2112 character is um, try to like figure out more situations. You know, be more situationally aware. Don't just do the same things that you always do because it works, you know. There's an, there's always an optimal strat for that situation. Then that optimal strat might not be the same optimal strat as normal. Overall, I'm not telling you that this guy's bad. He's obviously really good. Me and him are like higher, higher intermediate players, I would say. This Butcher player, though, is not a high intermediate player. He is a low beginner. Pretty sure he's button mashing. Or she, you know. Not sexist, 2018. Yeah, he's just doing things. I don't think he's, like, doing things intentionally. I think he's mashing. Yeah, see, that that's good in that situation because you it put you right in the corner. Though I bet a belly bounce would put you right in the corner too with that range, but who cares? And also, it didn't matter against that guy, so who cares? Again, you don't need to be optimal against somebody who isn't even actually playing. This is a bad matchup for Boracho. Because Luke, oh yeah, especially Flame Fist. Uh, fucking Luke King actually has really good zoning. That said, this guy's not doing it. Yeah, you gotta wait. Watch out for the armor. Flame Fist. Uh, I don't know why he went for the um, fucking flying kick, though, because that's unsafe on block, whereas the actual armor you want to use, the back fist, is minus two. Yeah, that. You want to use that. Also, why does he have a safe reversal? I hate this game sometimes. It's a joke, I love it a lot, but also it's not perfect. This guy really should be zoning. Yeah, like that. Don't... Mm, this Liu Kang player. He's an online Liu Kang player. <laughs> like, that's my main criticism. I actually like that situation because of the plus frames on hit. I don't know if... I don't know if you can get anything really good off of it, but... You could probably guarantee a low at least. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, that was the end of the video? Okay. Two main criticisms of Crimson Halo would be, yeah, the first thing, you know, try to be more situationally aware. But just in general from watching your videos, my second criticism would be really to work on your punish game. Like, you know, start figuring out, like, 
specifically what is my punish for that move kind of thing. At least, like, at the very least, think of stuff like, like, okay, it's minus 14, right? So what is my 14 frame or faster punish? Or 13 frame or faster punish? You know what I mean? I like to think of it like that. Like, it's not that... I'm trying to punish that move. It's if that move is minus 14 and I have a 10 frame punish or something like, you know what I mean? That's how I like to look at it because your punish game is kind of weak, but obviously your neutral game, your mix ups are pretty good and you never really drop combos that often. So, you know, good. Obviously you beat me all the time, so I don't really have a whole lot to say, but that would be my main criticism. But, uh, yeah. Uh, mm, bye. Or whatever.